Last week, I posted a video about Hyperstar and it seems like there is a pretty good response. Several people actually bought Hyperstar or maybe dusted off their existing Hyperstar, tried to use them. Uh, before we get into the Hyperstar, so what is the Smith's Cassegrain Telescope? Well, the Smith's Cassegrain Telescope will have a secondary mirror in the front and a primary mirror in the back. So uh, the light comes from outside and it goes through the corrector plate into the primary mirror, reflects off into the secondary and then from the secondary it goes back into your camera sensor. So the light travels almost double the amount of time or even three times inside the telescope before it hits the camera sensor. So rather than having a large telescope, the SCTs, the Smith Cassegrain telescopes, give you a smaller version of the telescope in terms of size, but gives you a pretty good focal length. So I wanted to give a disclaimer before you make any of the adjustments on your SCT telescope. Make sure you call Celestron and make sure that whatever the changes that you are trying to do are supported. Now, if you look at this telescope right now, the focal length of this telescope is 3910, right? The aperture of this telescope is 14 inches, which is uh, nothing but 355 millimeters, right? So the F ratio of this telescope is actually F11, uh, the focal length 3910 divided by the 355. Now, so when you remove this lens, not only you are reducing the focal length of your SCT, but also you are going to increase the field of view of your telescope uh, from almost like 0 0.36 to 1.1, right? It's a pretty big field of view that you are going to get into. All right, so there is a ring in the front here. Okay, make sure the telescope is flat when you are doing this. Uh, as flat as possible, I think that is better. Let me install Hyperstar first. I hope this video is going to be helpful if you are trying to use Hyperstar and take pretty good pictures with the F2 system. Here is the picture of the Rosette Nebula that I took. Uh, using the combination of Hyperstar and Explore Scientific. Uh, happy Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays.